Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's stream. Tonight, we're going to be playing some more Yakuza 0. Load Kiryu san here. So, if I remember correctly where we last left off, um, basically, we'd been framed. Um, <laughs> we, nope, no, no, Sega, I don't need to watch the intro. We, we, we'd been framed, um, we went to, um, Daigo, Dojima, no, not Daigo, Daigo's the son, we went to Dojima. The leader of the uh, clan, and um, basically asked to leave uh, because we'd been framed. The guy's dead. Um, and basically, him, because we were brought in by our adoptive dad, we. Basically, you're going to cause trouble for him because it's his responsibility. Um, we don't want him to be responsible, so we left the clan to try and make this right. Um, ended up fighting one of the heads. Um, the one mainly gunning for his... Um, for his uh, adoptive dad's seat as the captain. Um... And basically, you were told, yeah, this fluff off. You're no longer in the Yakuza now. This is a Yakuza problem. You should know this. So, we're now kind of up Ship Creek. Um, but as we were wallowing in despair in the rain, a uh, random dude with, I forget his name, but he has Phantom Limb Syndrome. Um,. Phantom Pain Syndrome. Basically, he uh, was like, yeah, I know all about you, but yeah, you get me this, um, this, this section, which I think is actually right in the shot there. It's called The Empty Lot. Um, that's where all of this is basically over. Um... So yeah, and if I remember correctly, the next step... Is that we're going to the um, headquarters of our family, the Ko uh, Kojima. Ko Kojima? I can't remember. Does it tell me my current objective somewhere? It should do. Right. Yeah, we gotta go all the way down here. I mean, I might just walk around and see what I can find. I mean, let's see if I can do the bowling. Oh, it looks like I actually just have. I looks like I can't do anything. I have to go and do the. Um hmm. Oh. Hello. I've li it's literally just been like It's only been like a few days. I mean Sunday. And I've already forgotten the controls. <laughs> oh 
Um, but yeah, no, sad news, sad news. Um, I mean, true sad news is the... Ooh, I can actually go in here, interesting. Um, is the bombing in Lebanon, obviously, that's terrible. No bombing, I sorry, explosion. Get it right. There's been no confirming one way or another, though they're saying it's like fertilizer. Or ammonium nitrate from being stored, whatever. Hmm. Kazuma. Family office. That's where we're going. That's where I'm meant to be going. But crane game? Whoops, that was the terrible. Um, um, but I'll take it. That, that really should not have happened. Um, uh, anyway, yes, the, um, explosion in Beirut was terrible, watching it was terrible, but what I was referring to originally is that, um, in Akihabara, like, the main Sega hub, is being closed down permanently. Actually, what I think about it, um, Hold left bumper to raise your guard. This protects against most powerful attacks.
Uh, I mean, I mean, this is a Psst, that's not helpful. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, it looks like it's left trigger. Oh, pocket tissues. I remember picking up, getting some of those. Hello. Um. This is going to be interesting. Inventory management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. Tell Nishki. I'm fine. does not look too happy with me. それじゃ、親様も大丈夫ってことか。親さんのことはまだ。俺の濡れ衣が張るね限り。当時の組は親さんに責任被せる気。なんでだよ。お前がもう組を抜け立ってるのか。ああ。ただそれでも一歩前進
as a problem. Yeah. You seem to think you can just walk by me without a word. Do I know you? This isn't your turf. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all your cash you go and you can get lost. Huh. <laughs> this is um this is a shakedown. You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. Then I guess we'll do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. I was not expecting that. But... I got my ass handed to me. I was not reading any of that. Basically, he's going to go and toughen up. Uh, yeah, are you okay? Yeah. You just had the misfortune of meeting Hiroya Igashira. Mr. Shakedown, they call him. Mr. Shakedown? Yeah. He'll go after anybody that crosses his path, and then he'll take everything they got. You seem like you can hold your own in a fight, but that guy's a whole different level. If he sets his sights on you again, run for it. You're definitely more than your average tough guy. Um, he's definitely more than your average tough guy could handle. Still. I wish somebody would come along and beat all that stolen money out of him, though. What? Did he get you too? Damn right he did. Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I should have made a beeline for the bank. You be careful too next time you're, um, you're sitting on a stack of cash. Alright. Rumor has it that Igashid is not the only Mr. Shakedown. And they aren't just a Komoro thing. Stay sharp. Or Komorucho thing. Stay sharp if you ever go out of town. Mr. Shakedown, huh? It's been insanely tough. Probably haven't seen the last of him. Better keep my eyes peeled. Uh, okay, so if he sees me on the street, he'll take all my money. If you can beat him, you'll receive money up, um, all the money he's stolen from you. The amount he's carrying varies different times. If you can take him down when he's especially flush with cash, you can make more than what you've lost. Alright, so I think I've literally just lost all my money. Oh no, okay, that, that was just an introduction. So let's just run through here, see what we can find. I mean, I wish that I could start getting some of the sides. Oh, there are people in their head. Oh no, it's just, it's the hotel. You can travel to Kiryu's apartment from here. Call it a day. <laughs> if 
feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened in the last couple of days. あ、それは。わかってるって。他に期待しちゃいねえ。錦。誰から柏木さん、なんか言ってる。いや、何も。そうか。でもお前が生きて戻ってきたの見てから、また次へ勢いでレーメン食ってたよ。それまでは無っつ
そのくらい厄介な連中ってことだけどそいつらがおめえの味方につくとなると面白くなるな信用できる相手ならの話さなんで俺を引き込もうとするのか立花の腹が読めないなら明日少し突っ込んで立花不動産を調べてみようぜ探ってみる価値はいや調べるのは俺一人でやるあお前が俺と一緒に動けば堂島組に目をつけられるお前は関わるな自由組抜けると決めた時から一人でやるのは覚悟の上だ。The plot thickens. Maybe Nishiki is right, and I should accept Tashiban's offer. But I need more on to, to go on before I <clears throat> before I can trust him. I should hit the town and see what I can find out about him. If I stay idle, it just does that. Sure. Yes, I do want to go to Kumaricho. I guess we just walk around and see what we can find. You still haven't found the president of Tashiban Real Estate? Our boss ain't a patient man. And we've、uh, been keeping him waiting a long time. Hmm. Who are these guys? I'm sorry, sir, but the guy's a shadow. Doesn't leave a trace. The information in this town can. The informants in this town can tell you anything except、uh, when it comes to Tash,、um, Tachibana real estate. Wait, none of them? Then what? Tachibana's brought them all? Huh? I'm saying he's paid them all enough to keep quiet? If he's really that kind of guy.、Uh, if he's really the kind of guy he, they say he is, it's possible. Shit. I wonder if there's any way to outspend him.、Um, with what money, sir? We don't really have any. Then get the hell and find out some information. Forget the informants. Go hit one of the businesses he's bought out or something. Yes, sir. Here. Hello! Getting a high score can win you cool prizes. Do you want to see what prizes we have? Yes. Okay. Uh, I told the boss that the offering expensive prizes like this is going to ruin us. But he never listens to his staff. Go ahead and win them all. That'll show him. 
Oh, it's baseball. Um, I'll do beginner at the very least, and I'll do each of these once on stream. Check out to play. Press A at the r um, with the right timing to hit the balls pitched by pitching machine and score runs. Hitting the ball so that it strikes the target will count as a running uh, running the bases. If you fail to hit a target, it counts as an out. After three outs, the game is over. The game also ends after 20 pitches, regardless of the number of outs. Hitting a home run target four times in a row to trigger a golden ball chance. And the next pitch will be a golden ball. Hitting a home run with it will score four points. As the number of balls is limited, try to make the most of, of every hit to earn a high ranking. Golden ball chances are especially good way to earn more points. Sure, I'll play. Cut to the shears. Ooh. That wasn't good. I'll have I'll try and have at least a successful go with it. Cut to the shears. Oops. Oop. I managed to get at least one base. I have no idea. I'll give it one more try, see if I can't do anything. Then I may look up stuff online and see what I can do and try and work on this in the back. I may have, like, on stream a successful attempt or something. No, I mean, I got a new record. Uh, six points or something.
Man, I am going to suck a lot of these mini games. Simple enough, so what is this? Enter. Welcome, we charge a 2000 yen entry fee. Disco? Thank you. Please keep in mind that if you leave our club, you will need to pay the entry fee again to get back in. Do your time at the Maharaja. Hello, what can I get you? So you like disco dancing? Yeah, sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, it's if all that dancing makes you thirsty, come to me and I'll fix your drink. Looks like a VIP area. Ooh, what's this? Hey there, wanna show us some sweet moves on the dance floor? About the disco. Uh, to dance at the disco, press buttons in rhythm with the song. Use the D-pad to move your character's avatar to the square um, with the next icon, input icon. And then press the corresponding button. Um, shown when the frame overlaps with the square border. Um, as you move your avatar, you'll see a number of steps it takes. The more steps it takes, the more points you will get for the next correct input. So try as many steps as you can on your way to the next input icon. Squares marked as already stepped won't be counted again. The 
upper middle of the screen is the fever gauge. Press LB when it's full to trigger dance fever. A new scene with a series of buttons icons will appear. Press them in the correct Press them with the correct timing to boost your score. To charge fever game, keep pressing the correct icons with the right timing in an unbroken streak. The vault gauge on the upper right shows how impressed the audience is with your dances. It directly affects the rating you'll get, so build up a score to fill the gauge. The gauge has four levels. Each earns another star towards your final dance rating. There's also a versus mode where you can compete with another dancer. This, the higher score wins. Um, okay. That's what I'm here for. Awesome. Which song do you want me to put on for you? Um... I want to take you home on easy because I'm going to suck. I think the karaoke from the last session proved I have no rhythm in me, so... Alright, this is just going over the basic rules again. Whoop! Oh. Alright, I kind of get it. I just absolutely suck. <laughs> Dancing dude. <laughs> okay. I... No, I'll give it one more attempt. As I kind of get it now.
up. Okay, that was far too early. I mean, it was better than my last attempt, I guess. <laughs> it still wasn't great. Um, but because I paid so much to get in, yes. I wonder if I can uh, preload squares to stand on. Oh, freak me. That was worse. Oh, I'll eventually get it, but... I have a feeling that is going to be something that will frustrate me. Off stream. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Oh. Hello. You there. Hmm. Yes, you. That's right. Impressive specimen. You talking to me? Yes, 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 you. Took you long enough to notice. Can you come over here? Who are you? Me? I'm Hisaki. Lover of dance and lover of women. You're annoying is what you are. Okay. Got it. Later. Wait, wait. Hold on. What? What do you want from me? You see the dance floor? It's my playground, and I've been watching you dance, friend. That's when it hit me. You got a talent for dancing. That's off the scale. Uh, were you even watching? Because I really don't. What? Huh. I wouldn't say that. No, no. Uh, there's no fooling me. But I wouldn't mind seeing it up. Uh, we're seeing it again up close. So, I challenge you to a battle. A battle? Wait. You want to fight me? No, 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 no. Not at all. Uh, are you telling me you don't know what a dance battle is? A, a dance battle? No, I've never heard of it. Huh? That's ridiculous. A tragedy. Dancing is something people do together. Dance by yourself? On a dance floor? In Kumarucho? What's the point? I mean... Maharaja is the holy land of dance. How could you not know about dance battles? Unbelievable. It's impossible 
to be this out of that out of touch. It's so out of touch. It's like backwards evolution. You're like a Neanderthal. I think this fit twit wants to fight after all. Okay, okay, I'll explain. In a dance battle, two dancers dance to the same song and see who's better. Both dancers show their stuff, and the audience reaction determines the winner. All right, I get I get the picture. Great, you catch on quick for a caveman. Let's not waste any time then. Let's hit the floor. What? Well, right now. What better time is there? Dancing, awesome because you can get down a boogie anytime, anywhere, any which way. Hmm. A dance battle. Um, I'll accept it. I mean, I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Oh, he wants to do Friday night. Okay, fine. Party! Does he have different intros for every song? Felt too early there. Wow. That was worse than... <laughs> oh, I suck. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I win this round. But I'm down for a rematch anytime. You don't want to stay a loser, right? Give me a shout if you want another go. Yeah. Next time. I'm winning it. Alright, well, at least he gives me a chance for a rematch. I mean, I thought I was doing okay, and then I just completely lost it. Okay, how do I get out of this place? I still need to try and find one of these businesses that Sashi Bunny has apparently shaken down. Oops, sorry.
And headbutt. Hello in chat. Welcome to my terrible playthrough of this game. No, oh, Tokyo, okay. Hello, what can I get for you? See the menu. Let's see. Drinks menu. That yeah, wasn't after any drinks. Never, I will take that. Oh, okay. Um, there's a nugget. Oh, Welsh onion. So, I mean, let's... Well, let's just increase power. <laughs> Are you still just handing out pocket tissues? Yeah, okay. What pocket tissues even do? Alright. What are you handing out? They're all just handing out pocket tissues, okay. Somebody... Somebody help! I'm going to see here, or do you want to be my new punching bag? Intervene. I'm not that- I'm not the kind of punching- I'm the kind of punching bag that punches back. A tough guy, eh? You're dead. And head crack. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Thanks. I, I don't know what I would have done without you. Please, take this. You got a slightly battered... Toughness light. Karaoke. Food, convenience stores. Shogi? Mahjong. Arcade with popular games. Ooh. That likely may not be on stream at all.
and stay down. Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for the locations shoot today, we're screwed. Well, he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot, remember? He's probably still butthurt. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch, even if it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a, um, maybe it'll be a strike. Well, whatever the reason. If we try and shoot on location without the producer, the director is going to be really boil over. <gasps> Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure. Someone who can stay calm and cool while, take, while taking all the crap the director dishes out. We need a guy with an aura of toughness. A guy who can command respect just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly a dime a dozen, huh? Yeah, you're right. Like a guy who can do all that is just gonna waltz on down the street at us. Huh? That bold demeanor, that aura of unassailable authority, the faint hint of danger. That's our man. The poster child of a producer just walked down walked into the scene and into our lives. Ah? Wait, please, wait. Our saviour, I mean you, sir. You with the cool aura and magnificent pose. Or poise. Hmm. Yes, yes. I meant you. I have a minute. We're a production crew for a TV show. What would a television crew want with me? Well, we're going to be shooting some segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food producer. But we're down a man and we're desperate. Will you help us? What? How could you use someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business to be useful to you? No, 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 no. With that aura, that with an aura that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Whoa, I, I, I can't see. Your aura is so bright, it's dazzling. This reeks of BS. N no, honestly, we're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move things and help with some of the simpler tasks, but... About a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please, it has to be you. No one else can do this. They aren't kidding about uh, being desperate. Should I help? I'll help out. Fine, I'll help out. If it's not going to take too long. That's great. Thank you very much. Oh, my name's Mori. I'm a director's assistant. And this is... Kawiguchi, our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawiguchi. Delighted to meet you. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Well, the show's producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So, we need you to stand there for him, Kiryu-san. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that the role pretty important? Ha ha ha, no way. You might think that, but all a producer does is act all high and mighty. It's total fluff job. Is that it? I have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to worry. Once we get into, once we get you into some clothes of a more exclusive, um, executive style, you'll totally pass off for a producer. You mean producers have a look? Hi. Sure they do. Now let's get you looking like a big shot. I mean. As long as I didn't have to pay for this, guys. 
Do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely. You're picture per you're a picture perfect producer. Isn't that right? Kirigachi san. Uh okay. So what am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way. All we need you to do is to deal with him and keep uh, up with his demands. He can be uh, kind of a diva, and he has some weird stuff, but try not to set him off and you'll be fine. Hmm, I'm having second thoughts here, but I'll see what I can do. I am going to probably suck at this as well. I just am going to be terrible at all of this. He should be here any minute now. No. The director's here. Here he comes. Curious son. You're up. Try and act natural. Act natural. Got it. Chio. <laughs> Lovelies. Good morning. Mori chan. Guten Morgen, baby. Oh my god, he's speaking in foreign languages. Uh, good morning to you too. Don't ever change, Morichan. I'm counting on you today. Bling, bling, cha ching, baby. Oi. What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where's my Ida chan? I'm sorry, Ida chan called in sick this morning. Kiryu-san here will be standing in for him today. Uh -huh. Kiryu? Never heard of him. He's the real deal, baby. He the real deal, baby? Hi. Yes, of course. Kiryu-san does a lot of work on location overseas. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well, then. C'est la vie. <laughs> yeah. I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight. Capiche? Kiryu san, this is our director. Palpilion Kato san. Uh. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. Uh. Huh. He's stiff as a stiff. You drag this guy out of the river, boys. I guess what they say is true. People in television business do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating. But I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. No problem, Curie. You can't return a simple greeting. Your history in the biz. Your hi if you can't return a simple greeting, your history in this biz, lad. Figures. Proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? Fuck it. Get goofy. When in Rome, I guess. I have to do this right. Hey, hey uh, pa, Jen. Let's get this shoot running so we can wrap up before my next meeting. Chump, chump, yeah. No? Uh huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Didn't expect that from you, Kiryu. Um, Kiryu Chan. But I dig it. Today's gonna be. Bada bing, bada big. I guess that went well. So, anyway. Where's that babbling bit of window dressing? She's on deck for our next uh, for our uh, for our dining report. Oh my god, that's incredibly incredibly sexist. <laughs> window dressing. Is that T V jargon? No. No it's not. Yes, about that. Our reporter Nagasawa Sang is running a, a, a bit late. Uh then why the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talents. You did that, didn't you? Sorry. I forgot to get her schedule in time. She's on her way right now. You incompetent imbecile. If we go over on... If we go over on time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. 
You're a nice guy, Mori, but this shit doesn't cut mu doesn't cast the mustard. I'm sorry. Sorry. Mr. Rector. What a change from the treesy goofball a few seconds ago. Guy's got one short fuse. Oh, here she comes. And sorry, sorry I'm late. No problemo, baby doll. We were as patient as pie. <laughs> Ooh la la. Don't you look ravishing today. <laughs> no, Kato son, don't be silly. Okay, gang. Let's get this party started. Slavo Poilets. Well, Poilets? I cannot speak French. Fantastico. To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Oi. Mon dieu. What the hell is that? Where is the er erasable? Oh, sorry. We'll, we'll get it. Sorry, curious son. Can you grab the erasable from the table there and bring it over? Erasable? I can check what's on the table. That's a start. Sure. Hold on. Uh, there's some pretty random things on this table. Which one do I take? Razorable must have something to do with the props. Um. Erasurable. Erasure is too obvious. I don't think it's gonna knife. I'm gonna say the food. Where is this? Hey, I brought the erasable. Thanks, curious son. Set it on the table if you would. Got it. Ooh, this looks tasty. Doesn't it? I want you to savour it now. Let it linger on your luscious lips. This shoot will be my tour de force. Thanks. And sorry for making you bring it over, curious son. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about it. But boy, curious son, I'm so glad you figured out erasable is what our crew calls consumable props, like food. Uh. Yeah, I figured it was food. Uh, I figured that food is erased when it's eaten. Well, it's just it's the only one that really made any kind of sense. I mean, to be honest, that does make sense. Brilliant. This shoot's going is going smoothly thanks to you. I managed to be useful somehow. <laughs> wow, this looks delicious. There's so much. But it looks tasty, I could eat it all in one sitting. Good. The shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, Kiryu Chan. But we still have um but we have to still uh life that erasable later. What? But we still have uh, but we have to still life that erasable later. So would you be a dull and grocer it for me? Uh, sure. Grocer the erasable. What could that mean? Well, still life would be still life painting. He wants to get a still shot of it.
Why would I fetch a, gr uh, fetch a grocery sh clerk while we're in a restaurant? That makes no sense. I don't know why we'd just leave the produce. I... Uh, but tilting the food at an angle doesn't make any sense, especially if he wants to do something... Later? Brilliant, Kuria Chan. Let me take a look. Hi. Good, good. You cleared out the meat, leaving just the vegetables as neatly as you please. Thanks for a j uh, thank you for a job. Oi. Fucked up. What have you done? Uh something wrong. Something wrong? Something wrong? How am I in the devil's chef and supposed to do a still life with this now? Daddy. What? When you grocer a prop, it means you tilt it. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Go where you got. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. The shoot's almost done. Sorry, Q son. Can you get to jeer? Uh, can I get you to jeer these props? It's about time to strike the set. What does jeer the props and strike the set mean? Why would I taunt and why would I punch the dishes? <laughs> Thank you, curious son. I'm sure glad you know what jeering means to uh, putting the props away when you sh um, strike the set. It was obvious. This way you can clean out as soon as the filming's done. That's smart thinking, curious son. You're looking ahead to whatever needs doing. Or how the world's best producer. Yeah, right. No, seriously. You really helped bring us out. Looks like I got that uh, looks like I got that right. I mean I screwed up one. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. The shoot's over, I guess. Curious son, you saved us. You know showbiz lingo like a pro. Uh, no, I don't. No problem. I had fun with it. Uh, there was something else. It's rare to see a producer who can take charge of a location like you. Please accept our thanks. You got the you got a magnetic necklace. Nice. You have all the makings of a great producer, Curious son. We would love to have you back anytime. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, producer Ida. Uh, Lida. Did you shoot... Uh, did the shoot go down without a real crew? The producer? What the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? Ha. <laughs> you need it on a teleprompter? We're here to beat some manners into you. This is for working us like slaves. Late nights, who the hell do you think you are? We've got into broadcasting because we love television. But thanks to you, we don't have time to go home to watch TV. That's no way to live. That's television, though! <laughs> what can I say? 
It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortify, gentlemen. Humph. Big talk as always, director. Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? I've had it with you. That's why we boycotted the shoot today. We're on strike. Boycotted? More like you let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourselves professionals? Yep. The apple you want. This is the last time you'll let, um, we'll ever see you. So let's end this shit, sh uh, this shit you on a happy note. For us. Shit. Oh my gosh. What do we do? I got this. Huh? huh? Kiryu-san? Hey. Hold it. Huh? huh? Who the hell are you? My name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. Kiryu-chan, I... Wait. You're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys. We'll deal with this faker first. And... Smack! Did they pull this guy off of a bodybuilding show? Forget this. No, I'm former Yakuza. <laughs> Kiryu-san. Are you alright? Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks a million, Kiryu-chan. <laughs> it's the least an amateur like me can do. So, you were faking it after all, Kiryu-chan. You knew? <laughs> I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You're a fish out of water from hello. <laughs> Couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you just get rid of me right away? Because, Kiryu-chan, you did your best you could with such passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute or even a second of footage can take dozens or hundreds of hours of work. The struggle is, as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill. But there are some thi there's something more than important than those, and that, mon ami, is passion. Passion? I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be aspired by TV to change their jobs, or even change the way of life. I think TV is a medium that has the power to change people's lives for the better. You might be right about that. Most deaf. That's why we make programs with passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are dream weavers. It is our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite a director, you know that. Heh, <laughs> pish posh. I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have in my work out in them. But I can I can never seem to get uh, through to them. Yeah. Director Kato. What you just said, that moved me to my core. We have a lot of growing to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. I want to create shows that will bring people joy and inspiration. Hey. I want to channel our passion into the art of film. So please, we want you to keep on 
keep on ah no we want you to keep on us like you do you guys <laughs> sounds like you got it through to them don't you think they get your old fashioned uh, they get your old f fashion sense of passion kiryu chan thanks honestly you truly are a great producer so you won't stop giving up um so you won't stop giving that so you won't stop giving us hopes and dreams right on contraire mon frere will show you dreams you've yet to see even in your mind's eye. Okay, boys. Production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows. From the top. What? We just rapped. Have mercy. <laughs> what the heck does from the top mean? Still learning, Kiryu. Still learning. Mm. I'm bummed that the Cassie blend closed all of a sudden. Them being open all night was a huge deal. You heard anything about it? I think the guy running the place just skipped town? Nah. They just moved shop. They're across from Munchbowl, behind Theatre Square. There's a new sign up. Oh, really? But wait. Why bother moving if it's only a few blocks away? They got chased off by those guys, Tachiban Real Estate. I hear they didn't even leave the guy much choice. Same with all the other tenants in the building. A lot of them moved shop and just shut and just shut for good. Whoa, seriously? Well, that's a relief, I guess. I'll have to hit them up behind Theatre Square next time. So over here somewhere? And away we go. Ah, oh, you got a beat down, so yeah, you're you're forgiven, I guess. You're lying. Hmm. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Um, calm down, Tachan. I, I'm not hiding anything. I, I'm sorry, Minachan. Uh, I saw inside your purse. It was full of money. That that's. There had to be like 200,000 yen in them in the Chan. Your family isn't that rich, what's going on? How dare you poke around in my purse? Tad Chan, you're a jerk. I hate you. Nina Chan. For a spat between high school couple, that was pretty raw. Hey. Wow. Who are you? Nobody special. I overheard your spat. And I didn't like what I was hearing. Uh, yeah. We were really going at it there, huh? I I'm sorry if we made you uncomfortable. That girl, Minna, is my girlfriend. She's been acting strange lately. Strange how? All of a sudden, she started turning me down a lot. We almost never go out on dates now. Well... You guys are young. There must be a lot on the mind. Sure. If that was all, I could understand. But she's also been really throwing a lot of money around lately. 
And on rare occasions that we do go on our date, she always wants to buy lingerie at, no, by the bag full. Hmm. I got suspicious and went through a purse and found at least 20... 10,000 yen notes. 200,000 yen. Unless your Minna is a very wealthy family, that sounds fishy. I worry that Minna Chen is selling herself. Selling herself? Whoa, whoa. Isn't she, like, still in high school? Yeah, but that wouldn't explain why she's always loading. But wouldn't that would explain why she's always loading buying lingerie? She could be selling them. Hmm, that's hard to say. I know. Would you mind checking up on Mina for me? Just to find out what she's up to. What? Why me? Well, if you had to see Mina selling herself, it would... If I had to see um, Mina selling herself, it would scar me for life. I can't understand that, but please, I'll give you some th um, some kind of reward. Please find out what Mina Chan is doing. Okay, I'll do it. All right, fine. I'll go check on her. Y you will? Yes. I kind of want to know what this girl will be. Um, to know why your girl will be carrying that around that much cash myself. Oh man. I hope she's not selling herself to sleazy geezers. Mina Chen hangs out around Senryu Avenue a lot. Please find out what she's up to. Senryu Avenue. Got it. Senrai. Yeah, there, okay. <laughs> but we want to save. Before we get into anything, any more trouble. Oh, I just made a new save. My proverbial bad. Let's do that. see. I mean, I just saved, so... Hey, you. You're the guy from before, the one that picks fight with innocent passers-by. You heard about me? That makes it easier. I'm called Hiroyo Igashira. Uh, working on becoming the strongest living creature. Becoming what? Being the strongest man in the world just doesn't cut it. One day I'm going to stand at the apex of all organisms. That's awfully ambitious for someone who acts like a common thug. Why is the strongest living creature walking around town beating up people for money? Look, going to the gym or any of the regular stuff isn't enough for me. I need special training, and that costs money. How else am I going to pay for it? Everyone in Japan comes to spend money here in Kumarucho. Kumarucho. Ah, whatever. So here I am, looking for easy pickings on the streets. Well, yeah, you better look elsewhere, because I don't feel like donating money to your cause. Eh, it's not a volunteer donation. I'm taking it by force. You won't have a single len yen left when I'm done with you. Ow. Shit. Ow. 
Ow. Half off. I have to admit, you're at tough one. So you get it now. Your money is my money. I'll make a better use of it anyhow. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, ah, this is peanuts. I need real money to get stronger. Looks like I have to keep doing this. No, hold on. Give me back my money. Damn, he's the real deal. I better stay out of his way when I'm carrying lots of cash on me. Yeah. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Something happened to that save file. Let's just pump some money in. Increase my health a little. And head butt for the win. Headbutts. <laughs> That's the end of the. Oh, it's you. New pocket circuit races wanted. Want to have a race? Hi there. How about some pocket race, uh, circuit racing? We're looking for more people to come, uh, people to join in. Pocket circuit? What's that? You race motorized model cars around a track. Everyone's doing it these days, young and old. The cars are small enough to fit in your pocket. That's the name. Pocket sized racing cars. Yep, it's all the rage right now. And this is Pocket Circuit Stadium, where races are held. Give it a try sometime. I'm sure you'll be hooked. Pocket circuit, huh? This could be fun. Maybe I'll stop by later. Oh, perm guy. Hmm. Yikes. Hey. You're right. 
Ah. Uh, figures I would have bumped into some swaggering punk. Oi, oi. You're an old man. This isn't gonna end well. Are you alright? Eh? No? What's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry, I, uh... Watch your step, you ship for brains. You're not gonna... You're not hurt or anything, are you? Arse off. Alright. If that's how you want this to play out... What? Eep. Uh, I'm so sorry. No. I mean, I'm in a rush, see? So please get lost, your punk ass so and so. <laughs> Weird. What just happened? Damned Yankee. Hmm. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi. So freaking stoked, man. Rest street show by the Yamachi Sil um Yakamochi Silvers. <laughs> Too right. Those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at the bitching crowd. They drew all these punks without any ads or nothing. Crazy KU and the Yamaruchi Silvers fucking rule. And keep your and keep your pants on. But I heard that Yamaruchi Silvers are gonna hold a Q&A panel too. No effing way. They're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what the hell they're trying to talk or they talk about. Sound like some plans doing an event here. Must be popular with the local punks. Hmm. Is that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at all these people, holy cow. What are we gonna do? Hey, you. Yikes! Gee whiz, pal, I nearly peed my, uh... What are you doing chuffing around behind me, you ugly knob? Uh, yeah. Sorry. I just thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi, who? Oh, you're that man? No. I should be apologizing for my carelessness. I mean, whatever. Piss off. Um, sure. Wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Hmm. Are you asking... If we met before we bumped into each other, if we did, I'd recognize you. Oh, wait a second then. So, you really don't know who I am. Really kickers, that's a relief. Hmm. I'm sorry, I was rude for not introduce myself. My name's Kyo, but my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in the band. Let me guess. The Yamako, um, the Yoko Michi Silvers. The same band those young punks are excited to see. Aren't you guys some sort of legendary Yankee band? Y yes, that's us. We're doing a street show here later. <gasps> no, sorry to bug you then before your show. Good luck! Whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? Uh, uh wait, please, sir, don't go. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you could save me. Save you? What? Are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk for the show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the uh, Yankee crowd. But now we have to keep up the charade full time. Over time, we gained a, f uh, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks, and the um, Yokomichi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. Their whole style is called. Yaki now.
Or Yankee now. Huh. There's more to running band than I thought. So, what did you mean by me saving you? I, uh, actually... I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. Teach you? To be a Yankee? Y yes. You see, for today's event, we're also doing a live panel. A meet and greet for the fans. Uh, but uh, every member of the Yoki, um, Yokomichi Silver, Silvers, me included, are law-abiding choir boys. We'd never even shoplifted. If we were to talk in front of real Yankees, they'd realize we were phonies. Fake punk, sir. Now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't match the way you dress at all. Right. So... If we spoke to our fans, we'd lose our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse. Oh, Jesus Christ, sorry. Or worse, what if they get want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay. But you have to do this to get... Um, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either. But our agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might have to talk instead of just performing. But now... Got it. So you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one. But why me? Why? Well, that would be because... You're my idol of what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. That razor-sharp glare. Those barbed wire attitude... Uh, the barbed wire attitude that says... Touch me and get cut. And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah. I am Yakuza. Kind of. You can teach us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us uh, Yankee wisdom that will propel the Yokomochi Silvers to new heights of hooliganism. Please. If we lose this chance, the Yokomochi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, then. Okay, then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu, son. Give me, just give me a second, please. Oh, we got the others. <laughs> yep, yep. No, no ignoring you, Chris. Hey, how's it going? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu san. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarahashi. Hey there, I'm Tarahashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never seen a boob. Way to lose any kind of shriek red there. And this is our bassist. Bad boy Aku. No, I'm Aku. Hobby's caring for elderly. Or for caring for elders. This is Kiryu's son. Who's going to impart the ways of a true Yankee-style hooligan hooliganism onto us. Please teach us, Kiryu's son. Hmm. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. <laughs> Yeah, boob noob indeed. <laughs> oh no, please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In that case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I do agree. Um, but I did agree to this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. Ooh, yes, please. I imagine that is about the enthusiasm that they would give to this. Hmm. How can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Hmm. Well. 
maybe you could come up with an opening remarks for the little old me. Your opening remark? Yeah. I want to kick it off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san. I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. <laughs> Darling, a dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's tempting to do that, but that, no. <laughs> Start your engines. Why not open with the start your engines? Start your engines? Oh, like a racing team. Uh. Yeah, the Yankee movement's inspired by Western greasers. They love their wheels. So true. That goes with the, um, with the Yankee lifestyle. So I should follow with something like, you get my pistons pumping, don't you think? Uh, that's good. It wasn't hard to throw in something like ram it into overdrive either. I mean, that is going <laughs> weird. Right, right. I didn't even know about that one. I'm so glad we took your advice, Kiryu-san. Oh, oh. Kiryu-san, Kiryu question. Hmm? What is it? Well, the agency told me to get the fan... Um, told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off. Well, I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense the fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day. Tarahashi, how would you spend your day off? Well... I make a habit of getting Brian early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Jibby Chan, to the park for our mid-morning stroll. And then, we have lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on dramas. I've got my VCR and sewers bedtime. Uh? You just described a typical girl's day. Huh? Uh, sorry. That really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was just so surprised. It, I got intense. I... I'm... Heck, so scared. Uh, oh no, Kiryu-san. You shouldn't shout like that. You made Sleazy Terry actually cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? Heck, oh dear. Sniffle. Should say sorry. Uh, yeah. My bad, Tarahashi. It's... It's alright. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it at all. So... How would I spend a day off? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, one thing's clear. You can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What should I be doing instead? Rescuing puppies. Uh, Fighting all day, I would say. On your days off, you spend your time fighting from dawn till dusk. Fighting? I don't really get it. But who do hooligans fight? Do Yankees have sworn enemies or something? It's not about having enemies. Yankees are always ready and willing to fight. Two punks lock eye, the fight is on. <laughs> That's how it is on the mean streets of Kumarucho. And just so you know, fist fighting is considered the most hardcore on call. Jeepers. What a brutal community. I can't take my dog out for a walk in a war zone. Yeah. Hold on. The dogs that punks tend to keep are fiercely loyal and thirsty for blood. They often tr uh, they're often trusty partners in a street fight. Is that right? I can't picture my delicate Chibi-chan engaged in a kerfuffle like that. 
Boy, am I glad we can hit up you for advice, Kiryu-san. You have a perfect hooligan role model. Kiryu-san. Mm hmm? Oh. You're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What will I say? Hmm. Aku? You didn't get a topic like Tarahashi. Nope. The Yancy told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever. Even though he's practically mute. Bad boy Akko even has a backstory. Locked up in, juven in juvenile ref uh, reformities for from birth, bad boy Akko crushes packs of punks before he was even f he even finished preschool. Hmm. Your agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Akko's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? The time you crushed a gang. Talk about the time you crushed a gang. Curious, son. That's only Bad Boy Aku's fictional backstory. He's never actually fought anyone in his entire life. Never even argued. I know that. But it's the perfect topic for, topic for giving you a hardcore vibe. I also think Aku's delivery will make his story sound even more genuine. That's true. If he were a smooth talker, the whole story might sound rehearsed and inauthentic. Can I do it? Don't worry. I'll think up the basic story. I think of a. I'll think up the basic story. First, Aku has a friend, a cute girl he's known since they were a kid. That childhood friend is the key to. It. That childhood friend is a key in any Yankee story. Childhood friend, cute. Right. So, when you were three years old, Aku. Okay. So we're not actually going to learn it. That's fine. How does that grab you? Whoa. That's smoking, curious son. You're a genius for real. Aku, you're good with that, right? Solid. Ha. Yeah. I'll give you guys advice on what to say to. Yes, please. <laughs> Yokomochi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh? Oh? Is it time? Uh, I mean, fine. Grrr. Yikes. Sorry. I mean, you came all, uh, you can come on when you're ready. And I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're gonna hit, a, hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> we're gonna kick ass and stuff. Mmm. Here they are, put your hands together for the Yokomochi Silvers. Ooh, crazy Kyo-san. Bad boy Aku over here. Oh, check out crazy Kyo-san's original ESP guitar. Smoking rad style. That man's got Yankee look, got the Yankee look nailed. Wow. They are popular. They're not even talking. They do look like the real greasers. Sopping wet high uh sopping wet high rock and roll after school. Tarahashi Aku, hit it boys. Are we actually gonna hear a song from them? No. Of course not. That concludes today's performance by the Yokomochi Silvers. Just listening to their songs. I can see why the Yankee kids across Japan go uh, look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, I'd like to move on to the special meet and greet panel discussing uh, discussion with band members. Oh, no way, no way. Crazy Kyo's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental. I can't fucking wait to hear Bad Boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Yo. Yo, Grease Hounds. Here are the Yakimoni Silvers. So start your engines. Yeah, Crazy Kyo-san. Cool your jets, bros. But I gotta hand it to Crazy Kyo-san. He knows how to rev up and kick us into top gear. Totally fucking ace. 
Thanks for coming, rocking out to our tunes. We love you all, you romantic rebels, your punks with pistons pumpings, right here under the hood. I love you like my turbo drive. Uh, good. The fans are reading up. Going with racing terms paid off. Awesome. Thank you, Kizuru san. Next, I'd like to hear from Sleazy Tashihiri and Bad Boy Aku as well. First up, Sleazy Tarahashi san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you spend your days off? Rah, me. Eh, if I get a day off, I spend it fighting mostly. Sleazy Tarahashi sends a beast, fighting like exercise to him. Too wicked for words. Oh shit. I would pay to get my ass kicked by Tarahashi san every once. Yeah, even just once. Just so you know, I don't allow nothing uh, about going bare knuckle in a brawl. If it ain't fists, it ain't a fight. Yeah! Good. The fans are reading it up. I know spending all day fighting would rev up these punks. Thank you, Sleazy Tarahashi. To close it out, it's time for Bad Boy Akko to say a, final, uh, say a few words. I smash gangs. Wicked. Bad Boy Akko's laying us in on his brutal past. Right here in friggin' public. Holy shit. What a beast. I'm crying, man. My birthday, three years old. <laughs> I rescued Nuna Chan, my childhood friend. Wrecked eight gangs to save her. On top of a tower. Shirtless. <laughs> Why are they silent? Oh, there we go. Yeah, bad boy Aku. Call him ways I can't explain. Or understand. Good. The fans bought it. There's nothing better than a good war story to <laughs> gain street cred. Oh my god. <laughs> Kirisan. Were you watching? Yeah. And I saw everything. Good work. Kirisan. We tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yaki to our panel. <laughs> and the fans responded was fabulous. I'm still in shock. Yeah. It seemed that way. You guys learned well. I'm proud of you all. It looks like the Yakumochi Silvers will keep shooting up towards stardom at the speed of lights. We owe you big time, Kiryu-san. You got a wild shirt. Ah, Yeah, it was the most fun I've had speaking, to p speaking in public, Kiryu-san. Thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you taught us. About the ways of the Yankee. We'll work on speaking skills as well. Keep an eye on us, curious then. The Yokomochi Silvers are kicking it up another gear. Yeah. Give it your best shot. We will. And I wonder if we'll see them again. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world. Somehow. Don't give up, Yakamochi Silvers. I mean... This shirt brings out your royal side. When you attack, you won't go down easily. Sure. Uh, this necklace soothes your fatigue through the power of magnets. Restores your health while you stand still in battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Let's... See if we can find this um Look, first let's get a reminder of where we're going. <laughs> uh 
Let's stand still for a little bit. Get the thing up. Here we go. Ran off a cafe called Bland in Theatre Alley across from Macbowl. I should check it out. Um, okay. Badass lady. Alright. Shut your whole fat ass and open your wallet. Whoa. What? Uh? I'm telling you, I can't pay. I'm dead broke right now. Don't give me that bullshit, Tubbs. I watched your sorry ass come out of that soap land last night. What? Yeah. Then you marched your, li uh, your little buddies around from the club to club drinking till dawn. Living a pretty large for a broke guy, ain't ya? You were spying on me. You're goddamn right. You know how many different lenders you've decked over pork chop? It's collection day, and your ass is getting beat. Female collections agents? Pretty unusual. Sounds like a real bull buster too. Haha. <laughs> She's terrif She's as terrifying as ever. Bacchus? Wait, she's a friend of yours? You got that right. Sure wouldn't want to make an enemy of her. That there's Miss Tatsu, the debt collector. She's a legend in Yokohama. Miss Tatsu, huh? She takes on the jobs that makes other collect uh, that makes other collection boys run away crying. And she always, always gets the cash. Her style's bold, blunt and brutal. Add to that a bulldog's own tenacity and she's the one uh, she's got one mean bite, my boy. You seem mostly fam uh, familiar with her methods. That's the voice of personal experience. Aha, uh -huh, you got me, boy. I was in a close... I was this close to getting my face caved in over a silly little dead a while back. Why am I not surprised? Hey, look there, boy. We're about to see what makes our uh, lady, Miss Tatsu, so incredible. Heh. <laughs> you think you can get the money out of me? I'd like to see you try. Ha. Huh. You boys and your toys, you think, uh... Your little butter knife there is gonna stop me. Drop the top, the tough act, sugar tits. I put a dozen dudes in the hospital with this baby. If you have a tear shape, a tear stained apology ready for me though, I'll hear you out. That's my line, sugar mobs, sugar moves. Except the part about hearing you out, since you'll be too dead. I make your move. Yeah. Pulling a weapon on a woman. That's going too far. I'm stopping this. No need, boy. Just wait. Hmm. No blinking now, boy. Keep those eye on Miss Tatsu. And showtime. Uh, what? Did she just dislocate his arms? That's rad. Whoa, those moves. Heh. <laughs> Looks like that B down gave you a few ideas. Yeah, more than a few. Fantastic, boy. I hope you're ready to put them into practice. What? Look over yonder. Looks like our bad guy here has some friends. Ah, oh, shit. Jinkun's getting beat to hell. He paid the tab last night, so what do we say we pay him back by sucker punching that crazy bitch for him?
Hear that, boy? Those dim bulbs are planning on getting the drop on the little lady from behind. Sounds that way. Lovely crowd. Perfect match for this sort of scum that put a knife on a woman. Why don't you give him a little demo of what a man's supposed to be? And... No saying this doesn't involve you this time. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. She can clearly defend herself, but there's a whole pack of them. I'm jumping in. Yes, that's my boy. Keeping Shivery alive, and working in a bit of fine training in the process. Haha! -ha! What the hell do you want? Oi. You guys planning to sucker punch that woman in the back? You got an eavesdropping problem? And damn straight we are. You think that we want that psycho bitch and see you coming? You'll drop her before she can get her claws out. I don't care how tough she is. You don't hear a woman. And needing a group to do it is just pathetic. You call yourselves men. The fuck did you say? You got a big mouth and a death wish, pal. Yo, we drop in this guy before we take care of the broad. Switch to B-style. Press D on the D-pad, switch to B-style. Um... Uh, each stance has its own music. Interesting. Press X when near a large weapon showing a downward arrow mark to automatically pick it up and swing with it. This is called an auto weapon attack. <sighs> Bash an enemy with an auto weapon attack. Using beast style hold left bumper to guard lets you withstand enemy attacks with a resist guard. You can take a certain amount of damage, but you are protected. You will take a certain amount of damage, but you are protected from in, um, from attacks from any direction. Bolstering your defense by equipping gear in the pause menu to further reduce the damage you take from resist guard. Be sure to equip any gear you find. Use B-style moves to pulverize the pack of cowards. Yeah. Why is... Th what is this guy? All of us being on him and he d looks like he doesn't even feel it. You want more? Uh. Uh, I'm not leaving till I at least punch that ugly bitch out. Well, well. If it isn't Porky's little friends. I saw you boys crawling in the bars last night. Ah. Uh. But I must be hearing things, because it sounded like you said something about punching a bitch out. If you're interested, this bitch is ready to go. N n no ma'am. That's just crazy. What kind of man would punch a lady? And with a group? So pathetic. Ha. 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 Right. Now pick up that sad sack lying over there and get the hell out of my sights. I got all I came here for. Got no use for him now. Yes, ma'am. 
Marcus, been a while. Yeah. Same old Miss Tatsu. Strong as a bear on bearoids. You want to talk, old man. So, you're going to introduce me to my knight in shining armor here? Oh, right. This is my latest find. A real diamond in the rough. Name's Kiryu. Kiryu, huh? I remember that name. You've got Barkus singing your praises. you got to be pretty tough. He is. This boy's here is the future champion. I stick my career on it. Ah, okay. Now I'm seeing what this is. You're thinking Kiryu here's your ticket to a fat sack of cash. Which you'll then use to pay me back so we can get so we can get to stay friends. Easy, Tiger. I told you it would take a while. But you'll get it all back. Ooh, speaking of favours, why don't you train the boy here? Wait, what? Do I seem like the patient teacher type to you? Sorry, no can do. Nah. Nah, don't be like that. We both need him to get stronger. Once he's a champ, we'll be rolling in dough. Besides, I know you're secretly doing this. Uh, you're s secretly the dotting type. You'll make cha you'll make a champion a hell of a lot faster with you beating him in this shape. That means you get paid sooner, see? Win, win, win. Bacchus. What do you think you're doing here, man? Negotiating an apprenticeship with Miss Ta um, Tatsu for you. Obviously, trust me. You train under her, you'll master the. You'll be master of the ring in no time flat. You're insane. I'm in seriously hot water right now. I don't have time to humor your little fantasies. What? You're in hot water too, my boy. Are we talking about that knife in the ribs here? Because I warned you about that. I'd be lucky if that's all I get. And seriously. What's his obsession with getting with you <laughs> with me getting stabbed about? All right, chuckleheads, that's enough. Neither one of you's making a damn bit of sense. But I hear where you're coming from, Bacchus. Dish the championship talk. Just say you care about this Kiryu kid and you you're worried about him. Own it. Look. You did me a solid a minute ago. I can do this. Besides, the old man is r right that my training will make you a, a real man out of you. Pop a cab out to the pier sometime. I've got a training place there. You train at the pier? You got it. Kind of live there too. Pay me a visit sometime. See for yourself. I think you'll like the digs. Anyways, that was my last job in the city, so I'm headed back to base. Kiryu, you, you, me, peer, training. I'll be waiting. Bacchus, I've already got a future planned. I'm sorry, but I can't be a champion. What sport are you even talking about, boxing? Not that it matters, I can't. Oh, I know that. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. But I know when to stop making nuisance of myself. I'll give you some space, champ. It's about time for my afternoon drink anyway. Help me clear my head. Good luck with that. Just don't have too many. Yeah. You think a you think a guy called Bacchus can't hold his wine? Ha. See you around, boy. Keep those ribs knife free now. Get out of here, and thanks. I'll be careful. Didn't expect to get wrapped in up in that mess, but at least I didn't come away empty-handed. Now, back to looking for leads on the Tachibana real estate. I assume I'm heading the right way if it forced that on me. Let's see. Uh, let's just pump stuff into this. A wise investment. Purchase ten or more abilities. Okay.
So charge forward while keeping your guard up. You won't be staggered by blows and certain power levels. Mm. Oh, I... Jesus. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Been looking for you. You again. You gotta love showing up now. What you want. I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. If you're doing business in Kumarucho, you're doing business with us. To hell with that. It's not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. And you have the gall to ask for more? When you need it? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Tachibani real estate. When they came and chased me out, you people were nowhere in sight. Some protection. Tachibana? What? Oh, Tachibana real estate. Yeah. The... Look, it's complicated. Complicated my ass. You got scared and ran away. What could be simpler? S scared? Who do you think... Thanks to you, I had to relocate. Now I'm scrambling to get new customers and to make up for the ones I lost. I couldn't pay even if I wanted to. I think you'd better keep that attitude in check, asshole. Mind if I cut in? Huh? What do you want? Who are you? What family are you with? I'm not with anybody's family. And pipe down. It's this guy I'm talking to. Excuse me? What do you want from me? You say you opened up ship, a shop here because Tachimana Real Estate forced you out of your last location, that right? Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to get this guy's new uh, to be this guy's new muscle. Oh hell no! What? Our family's handled this cafe protection for thirty years. You try and swoop in on our turf? It'll mean war. Look, uh, it looks like you need to convince him to stay quiet while I speak with the owner here. Shut your mouth and try me. I'll kill you. Really? <laughs> what, the, what the hell? I'm not losing the sun, kid. You just did. Now get lost and don't show your face around this guy's shop again. Damn it. This ain't over. There. Now we can finally talk in peace. So what? In the end, you're just going to take his place and squeeze in the sky for protection money? Please, can you just leave me alone? I already said it wasn't like that. I'm not even Yakuza. I just really want to talk for a minute. Talk about what? Tachibana Real Estate. I'm doing a little investigation, and I'd like you to tell me what, uh, tell me what you know. Anything is fine. What I know isn't a hell of a lot. Besides, I prefer never to deal with those guys again. They're terrifying. Terrifying how? What did they do to you? It's not even what they did. They just knew about me, like everything about me. Like what? My parents' home address, my daughter's school, 
where I source all my cafe supplies, who my customers are. With that much ammo, they didn't have to do anything. And to top it off, they're not even Yakuza. At least with that lot, you know what to expect. I see. And where would I go if I were to meet a guy from Tachibana's office who paid you that visit? They're probably still there, finishing up what they started. Still where? The Hakua building on Sh Shikafuku... Shichifuku streets. The place my cafe was in. They've driven me out... They've driven out most tenants out. So the place is practically empty. There was one stubborn guy who said the only way he was leaving is in a casket. And he's still there? Probably. They were making him all kind of sweet steals, but he turned down every last one. If he's still there now, Tachibana boys will be too. Go have a look if he really wants to get mixed up with them. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, God. Come on, I just need to get to the save point. Tachibana's been running tenants out of the Hakua building on Shichifuku Street. It's worth checking out. I want to try the bowling, but I... I, I need to stop. Save. Yes. I would hit him in the face, Clay. No, 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 just stop. But unfortunately, I am going to be stopping there. You came in right at the end of the stream. Um, but yes, I am, I'm sure. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, if you have made it this far in the YouTube video, please consider giving a, me a like or coming to watch me live or otherwise a like, comment, subscribe, um, all of that kind of fun stuff. It's always greatly appreciated. Uh, but until next time, stay safe.